Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. What's up? What's up, Bene? I see you. <laughs> Share the live, share the live, share the live, because we get ready to get lit in here. Hey, hey, good evening, everybody. This is Annie Mae, the Neo Soul Songstress, and you are watching for the love of music talk show and this is a talk show where we cover independent artists entrepreneurs comedians entertainers and anybody who has a business or and just wants to get it out there all right peace peace everybody can you hear me okay let me know if my sound is good that's one thing I always do is check with my audience to see if the sound is good. Let me know if it is. I appreciate y'all so much. Much appreciate. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just adding everybody. I'm adding people into the room. Excuse me, guys. I'll be back with you guys. Hold on. I'm just adding people into the room. Into the room. Hey. Here we go. Just adding everybody. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah, sometimes the phones can mess up, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How is everybody today? Is my sound all right? You said, yeah, your phone's just a piece of, sh oh, man. That sounds like all of our, thank you for sharing the live, by the way. Like, I can see, you know, that you did. What's up, everybody? Tariq and Lua and Manny and, oh, snap, what's up? Ew. I'm just seeing everybody you want up on this live. What's up? What's up, Jerome? How are you? Anthony, hello. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I tell you, man, it's been nothing but great things has been happening within the last two, three weeks. I've been building with people and trying to get some things together. Well, part of me, I'm trying to adjust my camera here. Oh, come on, stay still. I tell you, stupid thing. There we go. Hey, all right, this is a little good. All right, this is a nice. This is a nice angle. Okay. Oh, stop. Like playing y'all. I say no. This is my daughter's name. <laughs> How is everybody today? I hope you are well. I hope you are well. And you know, we have we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to celebrate today. Today is two twenty two twenty two. And that's it. They said I believe they said it's a day that doesn't usually happen. So it doesn't happen often that you have all twos and yeah. 
So this is, I don't know, this is the day that I've been, you know, praying and manifesting for a lot of things, you know. What's up? Oh, that's good. That's good, Jerome. Peace, peace. Yeah, but it's a day of, this, if you want to plan some things today, to, today is a good th day to plan it, to plan it, to write down your your goals and everything that you want to do within the next, you know, within the next month or couple years. <laughs> I know I have a lot of, I have been, I have a lot of things that I want to work on as far as this year. I definitely, I would definitely love to put a showcase together, you know, with all, all of my guests who come on to the show. I would love, 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 and I definitely want to do it to have all of, all of my guests who came on, you know, all of the singers, all of the comedians, all of the, you know, business owners have them all come on to have, have the business owners, have them vend and everything and, and have everybody else perform. Now, Robbie, go on. Oh, now, Robbie, mommy's good. Mommy's doing the show. You got to go on your room. Take, take the phone. <laughs> Look, she knows. She knows. Yeah, go sit down. Okay. I see. Go sit down. Go sit down. Now here, here, here. Go go watch YouTube, okay? Go watch that. Okay, go watch it. Is that you? Yeah, that's mommy. <laughs> she wants to be as involved in I tell you my daughter, she wants to be as involved in a business as possible. No, no, you can't come on camera today. Go in the room. Me the no, 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 not today, not today. Hold on, excuse me, guys, for a minute. Come on, go. Come on, here you go. Here you go, go sit down. Here, let's turn it off. There we go. All right, there you go, go sit down. Go sit down. I sit down and watch that. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. You know how that is with the little ones. Oh, you go. Oh, let's see. Okay. I I heard a lot of good things about you today. Oh, well, yeah. But I told you some good things today. We told you some good things. I say. I don't. I say you. <laughs> You gonna have to tell me that. You can tell me now. I tell me later. But uh, good evening. Yes, good evening, Randall. Peace and love to you. Hello, everybody else who's in here. I can't really see who's in here. I'm trying to be as nice as I see. I I try to show all my followers love. So you know, let's see, Carlos. Yes, yes. We went to the yes. We went. Me and um, Benjamin Blakey. We had went to the Alchemy. We went to the Alchemy show, and he plays for Alchemy. And dude is like, he's kicking it. He was kicking it. Like I was, it was a really nice show. Like it had that live energy that I like so much. And they were singing some funk and some neo soul. And my, my thing was, see, I'm more. I'm like, see, everybody. I'm. I know you guys love seeing me. With the band, but I'm thinking as a sister, and I, I, you know, I stick with them, still stick with them part time. But thing is, this, you know, I'm multi genre. I'm world beat. Like I sing, I can sing everything from country to rock to neo soul to blues to jazz. I started off with singing jazz and stuff, and singing funk and all that stuff. So, oh, Sean, hello. Love the energy you're putting out. Keep doing your thing. Oh, that's awesome. Peace, Kevin Amos. How are you? Hello. Oh, Kevin Amos is on here. Peace and love to you. Shout out to him. Like, yeah, I remember, I remember, you know, going down to, you know, seeing, getting interviewed on his, his radio show. I was down there with Earl and it was, it was awesome. He always has wonderful vibes. Oh, Janelle, what's up, baby? What's up, Ray? Hi, Ray. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Greg. Oh, what's up, Greg? 
my Jamaican friend, you know. Yeah, man. That's <laughs> how you doing, man? <laughs> I hope you're well. I hope you are well. Oh, thank you so much. Look, look, look. I just, you know, I don't, I don't, I try not to make these shows about myself, you know, but I, when I, when I have success, I believe, you know, we all, we all share it together. And a sister got played on, on WAMO, W A M O 107.3 the other day and the other evening. And it was awesome, man. I'm like, it was, it was dope. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, more excited for what's to come because I know I'm trying to change. That's my goal to change the world with music. Solo with your own. Hey, I'm not, that's, I'm not solo. I say, but you know, I still, I still do stuff with, you know, wisdom here and there. It's just not every, you know, every gig I will be at because I, I'm doing this. This is what I'm putting my time into and. This is what I've put my time into, which is I absolutely love. Hey, what's up? What's up though? Oh my gosh. How's everybody feeling today? Jen oh Janelle, I got you. Oh, sweetheart. I got you good. Look at the last video. I say I sang so for the last video. I'm look, I have not warmed up my voice right now, so it's like <sighs> <laughs> Singers, you know what I'm talking about. It takes just like you gotta warm up an instrument, you know, and do your scale. Da, 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 and you gotta do the same with your voice. And if you don't warm up, like how you don't, how you just like how exercise. If you don't warm up, you don't stretch. You don't like how you gotta rub, work up your voice. You gotta strain it, like how you strain muscles and everything like that. You can strain muscles in your voice. I'm like, oh. As far as singing voice, I don't, you know, as far as my regular talking voice, I don't, I don't use that much strength. <laughs> Peace and love, everybody, man. Oh, man, I'm waiting to get, to get Sister Blue Note on here. Let's see. We'll add her on here. That's who we're going to be interviewing today. Sister Melinda, because that's who, yeah, Blue Note. She is absolutely wonderful, wonderful songstress. She's an absolutely wonderful songstress. Like, she has done, you know, I mean, her her vibe is, like, on the same vibe, and I'm like, it's it's beautiful. Her Her singing always, it reminds me of, like it reminds me, she she reminds me of Mary J, Mary J. Blige. Oh, here she is, right here. All right, everybody. This is for the love of music, and our guest is in the building. All right, so everybody, yeah, everybody, use the clap emoji. Press a, or put some hearts, heart, put some hearts in the room for. Her. This is Sister Blue Note. Put some hearts in the room. I want to see some hearts. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hello, beautiful. How are you? Oh, Can you hear you? me okay? You look gorgeous. Oh, God. Thank you, girl. I was in here like, all right, I'm a little too dressed down. I look like I just. I'm, I work in Texas, girl. Just forgive me. It's girl, my hair wrap. <laughs> girl, oh my hair wrap. That is sharp, sharp, sister. Oh, okay, yes, right. You, everybody, man. give it a heart. Give it a heart. Give it a heart. Oh, All right, <laughs> Shout out to my nephew. Pizzo is in the room. Pizzo Bambi. Shout out to my nephew. Queen, I love oh, this. Oh, I need it in my life. I need that ever <laughs> in my life. Stop. I need it. I need it to be a part of my life is what I need. Oh, how you doing today? Sweet. Sweet. I'm, I'm doing, how are you today? How was your, you know, how are you I'm doing good. today? I'm good. Forgive me. I'm so not used to doing this, especially Facebook Live. 
Right. So I'm yeah. trying to do the multitasking <laughs> so I can, you know, I'm the producer. Oh, it's all the, right. Um, it's all right. Yeah. You, you, you know can... how we do. We're, we're the jack of all trades in these situations. You know, I'm the producer. <laughs> yeah, I'm the we director, make it work. I'm all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, though. I am blessed. This is, um, I've been looking forward to this ever since you extended the invite. Um, I love your energy. I love everything about you. Your smile is just it's warm it just makes you feel like you're at home you know with your aunties and your cousins and them um <laughs> i'm just saying so i really really have been um truly looking forward to this i'm very much appreciative that you took this moment with me queen ah uh, well sister i appreciate you definitely definitely <laughs> always so i got Ed, some questions here for you so okay okay and well, and then you know, then we go let we go let you know. I like to have let the let the people participate too to ask questions. So, all right. So, um, how would you describe your sound and your genre of music? Um, I consider myself to be a soul musician. You know, I love all kinds of music. I really do. I mean, some people say that I mean it. You know, you. You put my playlist on shuffle, you're likely to get some everything, you know, because I'm just, I, I move with energy. Um, I was raised, my father always had a saying, that's funny, I was thinking about that before we logged on, because I was like, you know, what questions is, you know, you try to think of the things you're supposed to say. But my dad literally always had this saying, anybody that knows him knows he's has, had this saying. Um, it's all psychological. He's always said that to us. It's all, psycholo it's all psychological. And I've been hearing that since I was a very little girl. So I've been mm -hmm. taught to, you know, look at things from a perspective of, you know, you never know why something happened. You know, you got to take into consideration all aspects of things. Um, and that mindset of mine as a, a person, just as a human, definitely transfers over into music for me. You know what I mean? I can listen to yeah. straight gangster rap and fully understand and and get it and and even you know feel it to some degree i can listen to opera and be completely immersed in it and and have a respect and appreciation for it so to me if soul is involved in it which can be anything if your truth is in it if you're you're you know you're being honest with yourself in that music um mm -hmm. then i think it's going to translate in that way and that's what i consider myself to be i think most people would put me kind of r&b neo soul if you want to you know but for me i'm a soul musician you can find soul everywhere and if it's there and i feel it i'm rocking with it oh um, no that's beautiful <laughs> beautiful okay really quick, so, i'm sorry um, i don't want to interrupt okay. you queen but i real quick i just got to take a moment um shout out to uh joe north uh he is a famed attorney here in our local southwest florida area um and i know we'll get to it but i just had a new song that came out today he and his wife um they are very very much highly philanthropic people they pour into the community they pour into everybody and they've blessed me um and sponsored some studio time and some music for me um so my song that was actually released today is by way of that sponsorship and i see mr north in the room so i want to make sure to take a moment and properly um thank him and benita north joe and benita north for their blessing in my life um and then just under his name one of my ultimate blessings my very first blessing my baby girl is in here um so i just got to give her a shout out as well all right i'm done <laughs> <laughs> i know if you see somebody that's just you know you know you feel like hey <laughs> because i can't do it you know mommy can't i can't do the the, the multitasking on the lot so if you could shoot it to a few right. people for me so they can join i appreciate it right the call the comments go up pretty fast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes yes that's all oh, that's absolutely beautiful beautiful yeah, shout is. out, to, shout out to you guys man you guys make that's beautiful seriously um, like just out of nowhere it wasn't even yeah. something that we've been in discussion with um, they just poured into me. It was truly a seed. Um, so when you hear that that saying, your gifts will make room for you, um, that's what I think of. I think of Joe and Benita North. Your room, your your gifts will make room for you. And they were two people that no, you know, we know each other. I'm sorry. You good? I'm sorry. I got a little. I got a no, little. You're good. <laughs> Listen, girl. I'm hiding from my grandbabies right now. You don't have to apologize for anything. Let's be clear, okay? 
Like, Robert, I was go like, ahead, once you go. scream and this whole Take interview is going down, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Take Mickey Mouse in your room. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, ma'am. There's nothing to apologize for. Nothing to apologize for. <laughs> Queen got to take care of home first and foremost. <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, what are your inspirations to do what you were doing, your craft? What is your inspiration? Um, first and foremost, I'm praying. I am praying that I'm living out the purpose that God has for me. I'm praying, I'm praying that I finally, I don't wanna say finally, but that I am in line with his purpose for me. That's first and foremost, my inspiration. And I truly, truly feel like this season of my life is that, that I'm kind of coming to that point of my life where it's starting to make sense and I'm connecting on a higher level to what it is that he's seizing me. You know, not just what everybody else sees in me, but what he sees in me. Um, and then on a, you know, on a human fleshly perspective, I want to leave a legacy for my kids. You know what I mean? I want to leave a legacy for my grandbabies. Um, my children have watched me and my children have listened to me singing <laughs> their entire lives. And, and we're talking, you know, my baby boy is now 24. So, you know, a, a good amount of time now and they've been pushing me and pushing me them their father my sister my oldest you know my siblings but my kids especially to see them all these years you know i kind of joke around and say to this day i don't think anybody's heard me fully sing yet except my kids because <laughs> when i'm home you know i'm i'm not i don't have that mindset of who's listening who's watching i'm just freely letting my voice go um, but to see them be able to see me step into that, especially after begging me, literally begging me for years, mommy, you should try, you know, every singing show, every this, every that, they've been trying to push me all this time, um, them and their father. And it's, it's to see that now be able to, to let them know, especially at their age, because they're young adults, you know what I mean? 20, 24, 25, 20. I want them to be able to see not only is it that you can have a talent or have something about you that you can do, but if in fact you truly do put your foot forward and push for yourself, you actually can see things come from it. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it just, that's my biggest inspiration right now. It's not, and I love, I appreciate, I'm grateful for the support that I get from outside. But right now it's like, I can't let them see me tap out at this point. It's not happening. It's not happening. I know that's right. I know that's right, <laughs> Empress. You go Smile. ahead. <laughs> it's not as I just, you know, everybody else can say and feel how they feel. And, you know, respectfully, I, I, I don't mean that in a rude way in any way, shape, or form. But at the end of the day, those eyes looking back at me that I've been staring at for over two decades and now for the past two years with my grandbabies, that's a different hit on my, on my, what do I want my life to have meant once I'm gone from here? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that's my biggest inspiration outside of God. Sweet. So, okay, another question here. If you could collaborate with anybody, whether it be alive or past, passed away, who would you collaborate with? Oh, girl. <laughs> I'm thinking collaborate, but knowing me, I'd be sitting there Indian style like this, just watching. <laughs> yeah. girl, oh my God, this list. Oh, I'm old school, girl. This list can get, okay. First and foremost, top of my list always, Luther Vandross and Whitney Houston. Woo. But again, if I were in a room with those two, which I know that's impossible now, unfortunately, but I don't know if I'd even be able to get a note out because I'd most likely just be sitting there mesmerized and just listening and <laughs> taking it in. Um, oh gosh. Um, oh, that's so like I. Ugh. That's a lot. That's, that's Luther. A, uh, yeah, Luther. Luther is like that man. Green to me. Yeah, that's. He can uh, say A B C and that A B C D E F G and it, it would serenade me. <laughs> Bam, I'm sitting in the corner in Indian style, just like this. Sorry, right. Please. It was, his voice was just, it was something different. 
to that voice. And not to mention, mm-hmm. I guess, for me as a, as a, because I'm, I have a deep voice as a woman. So maybe yeah. in, in many ways growing up, I was able to catch his sound in a lot of ways and, and still sound without like, you know, my voice getting so deep that I start feeling like people think I sound like a man, mm-hmm. but it sounds smooth because right. his voice is just, you know, naturally smooth. So those two are definitely at the top of my list. Um, you know, if I if I come down younger generation wise, um, you know, Erica Badu, Jill Scott, Lauren Hill, Mary J. Blige. That's like my, you know, Indie Irie. I'll even throw in uh, Ari Lennox because she's just a whole vibe. That's that's my that's my energy right there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you are Leela nice. James. Leela James. I throw Leela James in there. It's, it's so, so many people yeah. I can keep naming, girl. I can keep going on this list. Because listen, I have a high respect for people's artistry. I love how different sounds come from people's voices and how singers yeah. have such a wide range. It's like just vocal instruments that I just think is cool. I feel like you don't have to be in comparison to someone else. Everybody right. has their own thing. So I yeah. respect everybody for what their thing is. And but yeah, those those are my two apex predators when it comes to the vocal. <laughs> and Brandy. I gotta put Brandy in there because oh, I'll do respect. Yeah. yeah, I got I gotta put some respect on Brandy. I love, one side. <laughs> love me some Brandy. Love me some Brandy. That's so man. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna read some of these comments here because I don't like to get yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh everybody's saying hey to you. Shout out and- to Crystal to connect. I see you in the building, sis. Right, yeah. Shout out to my Matter of fact, I don't know if you saw um, she, yeah. oh, uh, man. Um, that I had won the the contest uh, last week. I was, I was posting about it, but the name on here, Crystal Star Delgado, she is, we refer to, or she's referred to as Crystal the Connect. She is who hosts that event. Um, okay. And I was blessed to win that now three times, so. Shout out oh, to my girl, congratulations. Yeah. yeah, two grand prizes and then one of music video, which hopefully will be coming out sooner than later. Y'all will get to see that. Oh, shoes. I can't wait to see it, too. <laughs> Long, because that song that you sent me, that song you sent me, that absolutely beautiful. All Thank right, you. Tell wait you. for me. So, Wait for me is actually yeah, my I, first I single. Yeah, I played it what, at least like, well, yeah, yeah that's, that's my first single. You. That's my first single, and then it's also the song I sang at that contest that I'm referring to the first yeah. time that I won the grand prize. So that's actually the song that won me their grand prize at that contest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, man! <laughs> okay. So, um, what is your... Okay, next question. What is your creative process as far as writing a song whether it be writing a song, whether it be, you know, preparing to go on stage, what is your, the, the thing that you do? What is your process? Um, honestly, so far, um, when it comes to writing, I haven't written many songs, ironically, without the beat. Usually I hear the beat that I wrote the song to um, and then catch the vibe of the music. And then like, okay, it makes me, it gives me this energy. It gives me this feeling. So for instance, wait for me, excuse me. Um, um, when I first started hearing that beat, I was just playing it over and over again. And I was getting like, I'll hear, cause I'm very much a cadence person. Yeah. I like playing around with like, I, and I, I like how that's kind of the hip hop in me. Like I like how people can play around over beats. So usually, um, I'll get like a certain line that sticks out that for whatever reason, that point in the song, the cadence for that line.